Here at Swarovski Optic, over the last several years, we've built a reputation on quality of products and quality of services. And Rob, that's one of the big things for me talking to a lot of our consumers is, you know, you talk to them about which products they should buy or want to buy and, and you get through that whole process, but then it really becomes about service. And that's one of the really nice things for me working for this company is we stand behind the product 150%. We do, and, and really when you purchase uh, a Swarovski Optic product, uh, that's just the beginning of, of your relationship or your Swarovski Optic experience. And that's the nice thing for me is, is, is we get these relationships, and that's truly what they are. A lot of people I meet or our sales reps meet or you meet, they, anytime they come in contact with any of our dealers and they, and they kind of go through the process of buying the product, but then they're part of this family that, you know, it's funny with our product, it's obviously a commitment, but once you're in that family, it's hard, you know, some people I meet, they, they get their binoculars for the first time and they want to almost walk around like they're on eggshells with it, but what we have to realize pretty quickly is this product is designed to be used out in the field. Let's face it, we're all outdoors people, we're in and out of vehicles, we're on trips, we're in the woods, we're doing all these things and you know at some point something's gonna go wrong with the product. A lot of the things that we design into these products help protect it. You know, a perfect example is our, our twist in and twist out eye cups. It's, it's used for eye relief and to get the proper field of view but what a lot of people don't realize is they'll pop right off. So if you need to clean the binoculars or just general maintenance, it's really nice and easy to, to get in at them. That's actually a great little feature because, you know, when things start to get gritty, and they do if you use them enough in the field and in enough different environments, you just spin the eye cups off and I just take the binocular and I put it right under the faucet, the kitchen faucet. And, you know, these things are waterproof. They're, they're meant to be... Uh, in the outdoors where you can get rained on or, or whatever the situa situation is. So take that little sprayer on your kitchen faucet and you can just blast out all that grit before you even touch a lens. You can get most of the grit off the binocular. And you know, we've had situations where I've, I've, I have mud on my lenses and you know, the last thing you wanna do is, is rub something like that on your lens. But uh, if you flush it out with some water, you know, then you can start the, the basic cleaning process. Right, and that's, that's an important thing to touch on is we've got a great cleaning kit and that's obviously what we suggest to take care of the optics. But we get into situations, you've got mud, you've got sticks, you've got debris in there. And the last thing, even if the cleaning cloth is brand new, you don't want to be rubbing any of that debris around. So that's a nice feature to be able to pop this off. You can get in at some of the lenses and it's a lot easier to clean each and every part. Let's face it, this stuff is it's outdoor gear and it's, it's meant to be used in the outdoors and as rugged and, and they are rugged and, and they certainly take a lot of abuse, but uh, it's still an optical instrument. Yep. And we have, you know, we have experts here that if, if you have any question about uh, maybe you did take a fall and you just want to get your binoculars checked out or whatever, you know, we, we go over them very thoroughly. Your experience uh, with us doesn't end with your purchase. It's, it's really just beginning. And that's the nice part for me is that relationship we build. There's so many people that I know now that are, quite frankly, they're just consumers that I met 10 years ago and, you know, we talked about binoculars or rifle scopes. They ended up buying it. You know, they use it for a few years. You get those phone calls or those emails that, hey, I, I, I made the best decision of my life and then you get the next phone call. We had one phone call from a guy who uh, had his binoculars several months and his little Labrador retriever had gotten a hold of him and thought it was a chew toy. So you have situations like that that come up and then they go through this whole process of getting them in and you know on the back end they, they're just so thankful and, and you know reassures them that they made the right decision not only for the performance of the product but also being part of, of what we are here. Yeah it's kind of funny because I saw that the that binocular repair, when it got shipped back to the customer uh, with the Labrador Retriever, yep. and uh, not only was his binocular, did it look brand new, but uh, our service department made sure that there was a, a dog chew toy in the box with the binocular, yeah. so the puppy wasn't disappointed. No. And it's stories like that that, <laughs> you know, Things happen and, and as you walk through the facility here in Cranston, Rhode Island, you really see not only the, the machinery and the technology that we have to stand behind the product, but also the people and the pride that they take in their work. Yeah, they really do. I mean, we all do. We love our products and uh, we understand the commitment that's involved and I mean, we take care of our customers. And the nice thing for me is when the product comes in the building, even if it comes in for, you know, the binoculars are slightly out of alignment, 
that's not the only thing that they look for. When it comes into our facility here, we'll completely go through the binocular and give it a check. It's here. So, you know, a lot of that limited lifetime warranty is really us standing behind the product and making sure it's working to what we say it's going to do. That's right. I mean, as rugged and dependable as, as all of our products are, uh, it's still an optical instrument and it, it operates on some very tight tolerances. Um, and that's, that's what we have our experts here for and, and they'll check that. They'll check to make sure that uh, the parallax is correct on your rifle scope or the alignment of your binocular is correct. Those are all things that are done automatically when any product comes in to be worked on. And if our consumers are anything like me, I could get in a tree stand or go out for a hunt with 17 pieces of gear and the one thing that falls out or falls out of the tree or out of the truck is the optics. It's not, you know, my extra pair of gloves or anything right. like that. It's the most expensive thing in there. So uh, it is kind of comical to see that Murphy's Law, that, that does happen to me and we've seen it happen to a lot of our consumers as well.